Hello everyone, this is Neronium. Welcome to the finale of Pokemon. It's about time we tackle the final trial. We have one part remaining. We have one trial left. It is time for us to do our best. There are no enemies but one in the final trial. There are no way to build up Pikmin besides the candy pop buds by changing other Pikmin colors. And I have finally fixed my goddamn controller. So what we're gonna need to do first is to activate the final trial to open up everything. I have one day to do this, folks. One day. It's gonna take every Pikmin we've got in order to be able to do this. So, first things first, separate the Pikmin by colors, get the reds. We need 10 reds over this way. And here's how you know I fixed the controller. Watch this. That's what you're supposed to be able to do. You're supposed to be able to throw them straight without moving and without them dying a lot. It's annoying that it took me this long to get it fixed. It took me literally at the end of the playthrough to get this stupid problem fixed. So, right, come with me. Right, you come with me. What we're gonna do is we're gonna throw the Pikmin up here so they can build that side of the bridge. And what we're also going to do is we're going to get the reds over this way. So they can push this box out of the way. Okay, there's five on there. There we go. So this is down to a T. This actually took me three or four tries to get a pattern down pat on what to do on when it needs to be done. Okay. Get three Pikmin over here. I need every one of the yellows I have. Because I don't have many yellows, and it's dangerous. Okay. So now that the blues are done, we will get them over to here and help them build this part of the bridge. Come on. Please build this part of the bridge. Because we need to get to the final boss of Pikmin. Right, so that's more than enough Pikmin right there. Eh, maybe one more. Now we're gonna be turning these Pikmin into yellows with the candy pop buds that are by the onion. Because we need Pikmin of the yellow variety for bomb rocks. Right, candy pop buds. And then we will get the rest of you guys in there. We will get the reds. because I have a lot of reds. All right, so they built that. So now I need to go up here and get some bomb rocks for my Pikmin. All right. You've got bomb rock. One, two, three. All right. Look at how good I can play this game when I have a non-broken controller. It's amazing. Right, so you three come with me. One, two, three. Right. Okay, you with bomb rock. Go right there. There we go. Now we need to break open a gate, but I also need to get rid of these blues because the blues are not gonna be used in this fight at all. Do not want to get the blues hurt. And 
There it is, the final boss of Pikmin. The day is about halfway over, a little bit close to halfway over, and we need to deal with that. So, blues with me? We don't need the blues to be fighting that final boss. We need the blues to be carrying stuff that we're gonna be doing later. So, into the onion, please, because I need every single one of you. Okay. Now we pull out the massive amounts of reds that we have because we are going to be using a lot of reds. And we go and pluck the yellow Pikmin that we just got. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Efficiency, thy name is Neronium. All right, come with me, boys. So, let's get across. And, come with me. Now, you can go into the center and trigger the boss right now, but I would not recommend that, because if you trigger the boss right now, it's gonna make things a little bit more difficult. So break down this gate. Because there are bomb rocks up here, and we're gonna need a lot of bomb rocks. All right. Come with me. Separate blues and yep, blues and yellows, yellows and reds, and get me my bomb rocks. Let's get all the bomb rocks. So what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to get as many bomb rocks as we can. So we got more bomb rocks over here. For those who know what I'm doing, you, this is like the best way to deal with the final boss on the final day. So, 26 of my yellows have, well, 25 of my yellows have bomb rocks. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna throw them right here. All right, grab you guys. get ourselves some nectar of the gods. We are gonna need full power of Pikmin. Okay, so we have an army of flowers to deal with the final boss. You know, it's very rare for that to happen. So, it's time we meet Emperor Bulbax. And I lost all but one yellow. That is terrible. So, beat him up, 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 beat him up. Now, Emperor Bulbax, the thing about him, he uh, eats Pikmin very easily. All right, so we're gonna have to do this the old fashioned way. I did a lot of damage to him already. He likes to crushy crushy the Pikmin. And we can't let that happen too much. When he gets to a certain phase, it gets really bad. All right, we gotta watch out because his tongue extends out pretty far. Oh, he's at that phase where he jumps and he crushes the picky bin. Oh, I crushed one. Okay, come on. All right. All right. Emperor Bulbax is almost dead. All 
Come on, we gotta deal with Emperor Bulbax. Emperor Bulbax can take out up to 70 Pikmin at one time when he ends up going out of his way. And this is where I realized, wait, I have a yellow left. Of course. First, let's get the yellow some nectar. Nectar of the gods. Get the yellow some nectar. Okay. Come with me. Come on. We are short on time. Come on, have one, have one, have one, have one, have one. Yes! Alright, we got a bomb rock. So the way you're supposed to deal with Emperor Bulbax normally is in this way. You are supposed to sacrifice or throw the yellow or throw the bomb rock at him. And then what happens is he stuns himself with his tongue. I triggered a longer one for him because I hit him with so many bomb rocks. But here it is, the last part. At long last, I found the final part, my secret safe. And it's as full as ever. I'm glad I, I was able to persist in my search without losing hope. Now I can leave this planet without any regrets. Maybe I'll even stop and pick up some souvenirs for my wife and kids back on planet Hokate. So, you need at least 40 Pikmin in order to be able to get the final part, which can be kind of difficult if you're not careful. Because Emperor Bulbax is a monster. But there we go, folks. That's the final boss of Pikmin 1 done in one day. And we got to get the blues here some time to help us. So we did it, folks. We got every part in Pikmin 1 in all 30 days. It was looking kind of bleak, honestly, because of the fact that, well, I don't play the best when I play with a broken controller. But today should show <laughs> I'm not completely stupid. Hopefully. Hopefully it shows that. Please let it show that. So, let's get the secret safe back to the dolphin. And let us leave the planet as a whole. It's about time we leave. Come on, get that back. And as you can see, it took most of the day. For one day, it is possible to beat Emperor Bobax, but it just takes a little while. Okay. The last four Pikmin. And we had one yellow survive all this, so that's good. So we didn't have a total extinction, so that's great. But here we are. The final part is back. The dolphin is now complete. I have finally recovered every ship part. I may now return to home to Hokitate. We taught them a valuable lesson.
and 30 out of 30 parts. Final analysis, surviving Pikmin 147, total Pikmin loss 899. There we go. So, the main engine along with every of the optional parts, that's every part of the game, all 30 of them are done. So, let us save. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Pac-Man! Created and developed by Nintendo and published for the Nintendo GameCube as a new IP back in 2001. My thoughts on Pikmin. I love Pikmin so much. Like, I love the creatures, I love the gameplay, and see, I'm not really the biggest one on RTSs, so when this console RTS first came out, it always interested me, but I never really went out of my way to play it. It wasn't until I originally saw Chucka Conroy's playthrough of Pikmin 1 that I became interested in Pikmin, but at the time, Pikmin was extremely expensive. And then eventually, I was able to get cheaper versions of the game later on, as I now own Pikmin 1 and 2 on the Nintendo GameCube, and I have Pikmin 3 and Hey Pikmin on the Switch and Nintendo 3DS. So, this was also the first time I had ever beaten Pikmin before. It's kind of weird, because the first time I ever played Pikmin, I really wanted to record it, but every time I would try to record it, I would only get through like the first three days, and then I'd say, okay, I'll record it later, and never did. I'm glad I sat down and was able to fully complete Pikmin this time. And obviously some special thanks go out to Taco Graphics on Twitter for creating one of the main base templates that we used for the Pikmin playthrough, along with Inquisitive Ravenclaw for also modifying the design slightly to give us the final Pikmin 1 sort of thing. Overall, Pikmin is a great game, and I'll go more into detail in the review, so anyway guys, I'm gonna end it off right here. This has been Neuronium, and I thank you all for watching. Pikmin! See you all next time, and let's see the enemy credit.
Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to check out another GameCube game that I love to death, check out the top link for a playthrough of The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. And if you want to see another series that I neglect that's also on the GameCube, check out the bottom link for a playthrough of Star Fox Assault.